News 46, local coverage you can count on. Taxes at Jackson Hewitt and just found out how much he'll be getting back this year. Boy, is he happy there in the neighborhood. Want to feel as excited as Steve at tax time? Jackson Hewitt's How You Do It. Meet with one of our neighborhood tax pros today to estimate your refund free. Good evening, Prompt. Starting off today's cast, we have some depressing news about a former NFL player. Former Denver Broncos player Mike Current was found dead of an apparent suicide in the Basket Slough National Wildlife Refuge in Oregon. Current 66 apparently shot himself Monday according to officials with the Polk County, Oregon Sheriff's Office. He lived in Silverton, Oregon and also Las Vegas. The Salem, Oregon Statesman Journal reports he was scheduled to appear in court Tuesday to enter a plea on charges of a sexual abuse and luring a minor. Well, there goes your breaking news for today. But now, I'm back with your week in sports. And let me tell you, this week in sports was electrifying. This weekend, it was powerhouse, gotta win it, and you gotta love it. Divisional conference games went on this weekend for the NFL. Did you guys see the games? It was crazy. On Saturday, San Francisco 49ers and New Orleans Saints went head-to-head, -head, and as well as the Denver Broncos and the New England Patriots. And on Sunday, it was the Baltimore Ravens and the Houston Texans. And also playing was the New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers on Sunday as well. Let me tell you, these games were bittersweet. The Niners and the Saints game was probably the best game I've seen in a long time. It was neck and neck throughout the whole game. The Giants stunned the defending Super Bowl champion Packers on Sunday to give San Francisco the home field. The 49ers are one victory from their first Super Bowl since capturing the franchise's fifth championship after the 1994 season. Alex Davis hit Davis for a 47-yard completion on a cross to the left sideline with three, 31 seconds left on Saturday. Then again for the game-winning score from 14 yards on which Davis ran over safety Roman Harper to cross the goal line on the way to a 36-32 win. The play was called... Vernon Post. Tears streamed down Davis' face and he fell into the arms of the first year coach Jim Harbaugh after the victory in San Francisco's first playoff game in nine years. Davis, who also had a 49-yard touchdown reception in the first quarter, finished with seven catches for 180 yards, the most yards receiving by a tight end in a playoff game. Davis, in many people's eyes, was the player of the game. This tight end is definitely a go-to player. We will see the Niners and the New York Gi Giants next week for the NFC Championship. I don't know if some of you have been sick lately, maybe had a fever. I've had a fever, and it's called Tebow Fever. <laughs> Who's Justin Bieber? Bieber Fever, really? Well, I know that this game everyone was looking forward to, but it didn't turn out how most people wanted it. The Denver Broncos and New England Patriots played against each other for a shocking deficit. Everyone was looking forward to see Tim Tebow do it again. The talk around the NFL was Tebow, as I mentioned, a couple weeks back. On Sunday, this game didn't end well for the Broncos, sadly. The game was a blowout since the beginning of the game, and it was so intense that there was even a huge brawl between both teams. The Patriots won 45-10. to Well, even though the Green Bay Packers and the Giants game it was depressing and even happy time for others, also the Ravens and the Houston Texans, with the Niners winning and the upset with Tebow. Well, that is your highlights for your week in sports. Great games, sad tears, happy times, and even much dancing for celebration for this weekend. But remember, watching sports doesn't mean you're getting exercise. I'm Nathan Hollenbeck with your week in sports.